today we're going to be doing a, a compression test on one of our um, customers' engines. Um, compression test gives you a good indication of the health of the engine and the compression it's got. So um, first thing first, we, um, we're going to pull the spark plugs out. So um, I've loosened them off. And um, we're taking the, the, both the leading spark plugs out of the front and rear housing. And we disconnect the um, crank angle sensor so that we don't get any spark or ignition while we're doing the test. Uh, next thing we do is we screw our um, pressure transducer into the spark plug hole. So we normally start with the front first. Uh, this normally just goes in finger tight, so just um, wind it in, seals on an o-ring so it has a pretty good seal. Once that's screwed in in place, we get our um, hardware. We're using the Microtech compression tester today. So, um, yeah, this plugs straight into the pressure transducer. Uh, there's our pressure transducer, this just plugs straight on. Easy fit. Okay, we come around. So um, inside, we've got our um, compression test software open. The monster compression test that we're putting the ignition on. Crank the engine. Okay, so our compression test is done now. We've got 108, 105, and 111 PSI on each of the faces of the rotor. And the cranking speed is 265 RPM. It's very important to know that speed. And the compression readings differ from when the engine is cold to when it's hot. So um, again, that makes a difference. This engine's been started and warmed up. So this is a pretty good indication of how good this engine is. Um, we just go in and, and save this. And we repeat for the rear rotor. Um, we're just unplugging that pressure transducer now. And again, finger tight. We just pull it out of that front rotor housing. And we're going to repeat the process for the rear. So um, yeah, this is our pressure transducer there. Our um, adapter to screw into the spark plug hole. So we're going to just put this in the rear housing. It's important that when you're doing a compression test that you've got a fully charged battery because if the cranking speed is low, it gives you a, a bit of a, a false reading. So it's very important that you have a, a well charged battery in. You want the cranking speed to be between 250 and 300 RPM. Otherwise the electronics can't do its job properly. Can't decipher between one pulse and the next. Okay, so we're in now. We're gonna do this rear rotor house. Once again, turn ignition on. Okay, so that's the rear. 107, 110, 108 PSI, 256 RPM. We will save this now. And then we can save this to a file where we can um, go back later on and check it out. So a uh, compression tester, what it consists of, the mock the compression tester, it's a pressure transducer, all the um, hardware, all the smarts are in here. You need to have the latest handset software from Microtech to use it. Uh, it's an invaluable tool for guys that race cars, general maintenance, it's very, very important to have a have a peek and see what your compression uh, is doing. It, it gives you a good indication of how good the engine is sealing and um, uh, what life expectancy there is um, uh, to be from that from the particular engine. So um, we do a compression test on most of our engines before we start to do the dyno, so we can see a before and after, and um, gives you a good indication of how good the tune-up is and how good the maintenance is been on the engine.